Secret Love and Life Confession. Good day to all the listeners of Secret Love and Life Confession. It's me again, Asad, and here is my Love Confession Part 2. During my university time, I was lying between two opposite sides. On one hand, there was Laiba, a girl who had no interactions with boys at all. She even avoided to share her phone number with female classmates, but I was lucky enough to be in her good books and only male friend. Laiba was a girl wearing hijab even in warm season. She was a more religious girl, yet her mind was too much open. She was a very open-minded girl within the limits of morality and uprighteousness. That was the reason I called her combination of religion and modern world. She was perfect in her character, completely wrapped up in hijab, less interactive, more focused to studies, and much more. While on the other hand, there was Cyrish, the other girl that made me fall for her. Cyrish was totally opposite to Laiba. Though she had dupata, it's a cloth to hide your head, it's like semi-scarf. Yet, she did not take complete hijab. Cyrish also wear jeans and sort of modernized clothing. She was completely a different person than Laiba and much more beautiful in her looks. Cyrish and I had a very close friendly relations because I was the pride student whom all other classmates consider as inspiration. I am not admiring myself honestly. It's just that what is true to the time. Anyways, Cyrish had a great fan following because of her beautiful looks and bold mindness. I remember many of my friends came to me to ask me her cell phone number. Fast forward. We became more close friends and the time came when I lessened my conversations with Laiba and dedicated all my time to Cyrish. I was completely under control of Cyrus because of her beauty. This thing was realized by Laiba and she also kept herself distant from me. When Laiba went away from me, I realized that I was in a big trouble. I wanted to sail in two ships and it was not possible obviously. Anyways, beauty wins over simplicity. I decided to remain more close to Cyrus than Laiba and now I regret for my decision taken that time. Maybe I lost Laiba because of my closeness to Cyrus. Well, the time passed on, I left university. Laiba and I had the conversations about my crush and all that which I have mentioned in my first confession. Laiba also told me something shocking which I didn't tell you in my first confession. Laiba told me that she knew about my relation with Cyrus and she didn't like that. Maybe that was a turning point. Well, I and Cyrus had a long long chats after I left the university. She always sent me pictures that I can show to my mom. That was an indirect acceptance of my proposal. Many times, I proposed Cyrus indirectly or directly in form of joke. And she said, yes, in direct and indirect ways. Anyways, I actually showed her picture to my mother, but she said, no. I told Cyrus of what my mother said about her. And I also told her that I can't resist my mom. So she said, okay. But after that, our relation started fading. Our conversations went limited than before. And right after two hours I had left university, 
Sairish called me and she was very happy. I asked why she is happy. She told me she is in love with someone else. I was shocked and a little bit hurt too. But I could understand as I could not stand for her. So obviously, she will find someone who can stand for her. We had the long chats about her new lover. And it made me feel something fishy about that boy so I started arguing with her. I told her a few things to tease her boyfriend and she asked exactly the same questions from her boyfriend and he failed to satisfy her. So he became angry on her and asked her that who told you to ask me such questions and commitments. And then she told her boyfriend about me. Her boyfriend told her to block me everywhere and cut off all connections with me. And she did so. She blocked my WhatsApp number, my IG account, my messenger and never meet me at all. I kept on contacting her but it was not possible. I couldn't contact and it made me worried. It, uh, I became so crazy and literally felt of how Laiba had felt when I left her for Cyrus. Anyways, she came after two months and explained me why she blocked me and cut off all interactions with me. She also told me that she did all because her boyfriend told her to do so. Hearing that, I told her that you should go back to your boyfriend if he doesn't like your connections with me. Then, why are you talking to me? And she said, she can't live without talking to me. Anyway, I felt hurt to know that she blocked me because of someone else. I kept myself distant. Later, after six months, she told me that her boyfriend was a fraud. And all what I told her was true. To be continued. Rest confession for a while. Maybe I will write uh, for the part 3 some other time. That's all. Thank you.